Okay, we're live on camera. So as I ask the question, like when, when, you've, when you're going into the feelings you don't want to feel, um, how do you know when you've come to the end of the stack, the end of the pot of those feelings, whether it's, a, it's an addiction, withdrawing from donuts or from a bad relationship, or whether whatever it is. Um, usually if it's something extreme, like alcohol addiction or an extremely toxic relationship or a traumatic feeling, um, uh, when, you, when you go into the feeling, uh, at a certain point, when you go full on, on into it, <clears throat> for something that's extremely intense, at a certain point, what will happen is you open up, when the ego is under threat, it will bring up a, a, an extreme reservoir of feelings, which will be absolutely terrifying. This won't be like, um, it won't be like a thing, you know, like if you stop a heroin addict from heroin, at a certain point they'll hit a, an extreme threshold where they're, if they, they'll feel like if they don't pick up they'll die, or if it's an extremely toxic relationship, at a certain point if you haven't connected with them for a period of time, it'll feel like you're facing death and not to do that will, will mean like you'll feel like you'll be obliterated. And you'll go through a point where the intensity to to pick up on the thing or to use or distract away from that feeling of dying will, will, be, will be at a hot spot. And, uh, and it's at that point, usually it's not, you, when it's that intense, like you're literally dying and frying in, in, in a saucepan, at that point it's not, it's not going to be long because that, that level of extremity of death is, is super, super intense. And um, uh, I don't really want to say this on, on camera, but it's usually going to, it's not going to be longer than an hour at that level of, of intensity. More likely, most often, 20 minutes. And it's like literally you're losing your identity. You're going into absolute oblivion. And you're literally being ripped to pieces. And at that point, you know, the, the intensity of the, the thoughts will be so extreme, like either you're going to die, you're going to go insane, you'll never come back, you'll be obliterated and you'll be like skewering in fire. And you just go through that and don't back down. Whatever it says, you know, like you're, you, you must pick up the alcohol, you must go away, you must squash the feeling down, uh, you, you know, uh, you, you won't exist after this. Just those relentless thoughts will come at a very high intensity. You go through that. At a certain point, when that comes up, because that's the last gateway of, of extremity, you have to go, and then at a certain point, of that intensity, it starts to pass, and you know it, because um, it's literally like you've gone beyond an extreme that you never, you would never ever face. And when it starts to tailor off, when it starts to tailor off, um, you'll have passed. Uh, it's literally like a, a doorway of death, and you realise that you, you, it actually passes, and you're still there on the other end. Uh, and it's not. Um, uh, that's it, you know. I when I had when I went through my very first panic attack, uh, uh, I was willing to die, you know. I was willing to die, even if that feeling killed me, and the thoughts were extreme. I was willing to face the death. And when it passed, it was like, um, uh, and I could breathe again. And I'd known I wasn't willing to back down. It was you kind of know. It's like you've gone full force with your ego. The, the non-existence of your identity and you're still alive on the other end and it's, and it's lost its grip on you and, and there and, and, and there um, how, because it's a great question, how do you know? you, you know it, nothing can be that intense and pass and what you've known is you did not back down and it passed away and every other time before when it got extreme I picked up an escape hatch and this time I was willing not to pick up an escape hatch, no matter what, even if it was if it would obliterate me. And when it passes, you know that you've gone through the worst the ego can throw at you, the worst your attachment can do, and you did not back down, and, and it passed. Does that does that kind of make you will know, you'll know because it's like, it's like facing death and not backing down, and then realizing you're still alive on the other end, or, or it's like facing if you face death. 
and then you picked up something to escape, then you wouldn't have, you would not have passed that last thing. Um, 